Do you feel like you're missing something to build and grow your business? What if you actually had everything that you actually need to move the needle in your business? Hmm. Well, in this episode number 114, I'm going to share with you five elements that you might already have discounted and put aside, and yet they are exactly what you actually need to take yourself and your business to the next level faster. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from thierryvalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so that you can attract the best qualified leads into your business while monetizing your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every single week I am actually creating and bringing to your attention a new video training as well as a freebie attached to it that is coming in the form of PDF, cheat sheets, some guides, some further trainings that you can tune into. In this week's episode, I want to share with you five elements that you might have discarded, you might have put aside and wondering what else you're missing to build your business and move forward f- further faster. Those five elements are actually what we've always had that always existed in business and will always exist in business regardless of the new technology, world location or else. So let's dive into it, which the first one is actually about resources. Utilize the resources that you've got access to. You probably heard the saying that it's not about the resources, but about being resourceful, about the resourcefulness. Sometimes we think that we need more and more and more, whereas actually we have all that it takes and is needed in order to be succeeding. The main resources that I would recommend to grow your business at the moment is social media and your network of influence. These two are completely free and they are getting you very far in in attracting the people into your world. How? Well, basically social media, you know it, you're on it on a regular basis, if not daily, several times a day. It is a perfect tool to use in order to reach out to the world, to be connected to people worldwide, to actual strangers you never met who might become your customers and you will never meet in person ever. That is possible because I'm the proof of it that it works when you are building rapport and making people build the no like trust factor with people online. They will come to you, bite from you and become your client, your loyal customers for years. And your network of influence are the, is the people that you know already your warm market and that is great to maybe get started. That's not necessarily what I teach my people. Yet they are great also to introduce you into their network. So they might not be the ones you're going to use to grow your business directly. They are not necessarily going to become your customers or your team members, your business partner. Yet they are most likely going to be happy since they are your network of influence and your friends and family. They'll be happy to recommend you to other people who might need your solutions, your business, services, product, opportunity. These are two resources that are so important to use. So utilize your resources. My second tip is about taking advantage of the trends to remain on top of what is going on within your field and your industry at all times, because everything is evolving, right? In addition of that, one of the things to really keep yourself up with is social media. Pick one platform, one or two, I would say one to get started, especially if you're new to building your business online, pick one platform, get to know the platform, be on top of it because it's forever evolving all the time. There's always a little change, the algorithm, the platform doesn't have this feature anymore. They add this feature that they put your content forward if you use it, this kind of thing. I would even me, I would even be even more precise in terms of what platform to use and that by saying use the platform where your audience is hanging out. 
That is the best way for you to build a business because obviously you want to be in a fishing pool where your audience is hanging out for them to see your content, build rapport with you and be able to ask you for more information. The other reason for keeping on top of the social media changes is because what worked years ago, months ago, even weeks ago, might not be working anymore today. It isn't the same thing. Like when Facebook Lives came out, they, when they first been launched, that was like, it's still the very hot and the most hot strategy to use alongside with the reels and you know all those short videos. Lives are still very hot yet not as much as they were they were at the time at the time we could make like you know nine videos nine facebook lives in one day and we would be in the news feed of our people all the time now it is not recommended to do nine facebook lives in one day do one a day that is more than enough one a day one maybe two but not more than that so things are changing all the time keep up with the changes and as you know, each and every single week, I do bring a new freebie to your attention to empower you in your own way within your business to move the needle closer to where you want it to be. Because we're talking about elements that we already have access to, the things that we already can use and we have, we, we, we have control over, I thought it was the perfect time to put together this freebie, which is the self-discovery guide to go within yourself ask those series of 11 questions, which is within the guide, to figure out a bit more of who you are, how you are, how you do the, the, what you do, and the reason why you're doing it. So that guide is going to help you get that out of your system, putting it together. And there is some exercises as well to take you further in the process as well. If you wanna get access to this guide, the self-discovery guide, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box. If you're on my YouTube channel or any other platforms for that matter, just go into the description section. You'll see there's a link which will take you back to my blog once you're there. Below the video, you'll see a massive yellow button. Just click it and that will send you the self-discovery guide into your email box immediately. Talking about self-discovery and about self, my next tip, my third tip, is to sell yourself. And you might be like, what is going on? What am I watching? What am I listening? Yes, you heard well, sell yourself. Something I very often come back to is to be a human first and blank second. So a marketer second, a make party second, a network marketer second, an entrepreneur second. Be a human first. People buy into people. They do not buy into products, services, opportunities. They buy into you first and foremost. The reason being is because people want to know that they are going to spend their money and that that money is going to go into a safe place, a genuine place, someone they've built rapport with and that it is honest kind of thing. What that means is that it is all in your favor to share some of the behind the scene, to share some of your successes as well as your failures. People love seeing the failures, not to necessarily, um, not because it's bad or because, but because they learn from it. They, they also relate to it. They feel that they're not alone, that you're not trying to be perfect and all is sorted. And we came out of that era where people are looking for perfection online. They want to see real stuff. Virtual is, already giving that that doesn't assimilation like a con um, connotation of virtual equal fake we've got to disrupt the system we've got to disrupt that that mindset that mentality that idea that what's virtual is fake and bringing it back to reality the way we do this is by sharing more of ourselves we've got to leave, we've got to be transparent we've got to be showing life what is life? What's life for you? How do you do life? That's what people want to know. So yes, you've got to sell yourself to the point where people want to buy from you. They want to ask you for more information about what you've got to offer, what you do, 
who you are, where you are, how can they do business with you, how they can become clients of yours. This is what you've got to create and only by sharing will you create that. My fourth tip is very crucial, one that all entrepreneurs must follow and that is consistency. Being consistent at showing up. Showing up when we say we were going to show up. Because consistency creates familiarity in your audience's mind. There is no way you can create success if you are not being consistent in whatever you're doing because you won't create that ratio of, of numbers that you need to know. You need to know your numbers in business. What type of activity do you need to do? How much of it do you need to do in order to create the results that you want to acquire within your business? The sales, the people you want to recruit, the, the, the number of clients you want to, new clients that you want to have this, this month or next month or this year. You've got to know all those numbers, yet it's not just putting a number and winging it. We've got to be consistent at showing up also because have you realized like how much the human's attention span has shortened like crazy look now doing videos of 20 minutes is a very long time it's very very long like we we have all those you know short videos of 30 to 60 seconds that tells you a lot that says a lot about the human attention span it's crazy. So put it in put, put a DMO, a daily method of operation together that that tells you what to do, when to do it, and stick to it. If you want to kind of dive a little bit deeper into how to prepare a DMO, what is a DMO? As I said, it's a daily method of operation. Yet how you put it together, how you go about it, then Refer to my blog, thierryvalexander.com forward slash 86. That was the episode number 86. Or in the written version of this blog, you'll see in the consistency part that we are just talking about right now, you'll see the link that you can click to take you back to the blog number 86. So that was a very, uh, that's a very old uh, blog because we are on number 150. 14 now? That is crazy. And my very last tip, far from being the least though, to grow your brand is to document what you do. Document everything, the mistakes, the failures, the successes, the, what you will do better next time. Your journey in general, because this is what's going to make you progress much faster. When you are documenting your journey and everything that you're doing, not doing, failing at, succeeding at, your brain is going to look for new pathways to create more success, to find the solutions, the, the, the how to for whatever it is that you need to do in order to move much further faster within your business. Plus, like I said earlier, it is about being transparent, sharing with your audience what you're doing, how you're doing it, because that will build the no like trust factor that we are talking very often about. People will connect with you much better when you are sharing your journey, when you are documenting it and, you know, having a realness and authenticity about you and online as well. So essentially, in conclusion, these five tips are the foundation of your business. Whatever business you are in, whatever business you will be in that you decide to go into at some other point, they will remain the same because they are principles. They will always be relevant on growing your brand. So keep them at hand, keep remind, remind yourself of them and implement them as well. And remember, I've got your back with a self-discovery guide that has 11 questions in there for you to dive deeper on 
within yourself and discovering your own self. It's, it's always incredible. We're all a work in progress. That guide's going to help you put out certain information and make you move within your business because of knowing yourself. You are one with your business. You should be one with your business. It's, it's not two entities, but it's one thing. You are the business. So if you want to get this self-discovery guide, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know what to do. You can share it with your fellow network marketers, entrepreneurs, makeup artists, whomever you believe could benefit from knowing those principles, those five tips to grow their brand. Question of the week. What area of your business do you feel you need some help and support in order to progress further? Share with me in the comment section. I'd love to know where it is that I can support you, I can help you, I can guide you in the right direction for you to move the needle in your business to wherever you want it to go and to achieve those goals that you've set for yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love connecting with you each and every single week as I'll always say. this. Video training is a wrap, but I am looking forward to seeing you on the next episode. Bye-bye-bye.